and you're doing well right now yes um it's um i don't know are we the same time zone we are right it's noon it's noon at, at your place as well right uh yeah mm, i think that we have the same time I yeah yeah i think here are the, it's, the, there it's going to be the 12th of the of the evening yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, i'm i'm doing a great today <laughs> It's yeah. a nice a sunny day, so everything's better. Oh, oh. <laughs> here, here it's raining. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But there's no well, problem. I, mean, I guess rain is okay too if you don't have to go anywhere, right? I, I will have to go after this interview. Ah. There's no problem. There's no problem. We are going to have a great time uh, here, and later on I will do, do my own things. <laughs> yes, amazing. <laughs> so, are you excited to perform in Eurovision? I am very excited. It's been two weeks since the national finals, and it's still very surreal to me. And I'm still getting used to all the attention and all the Eurovision fans reaching out, and it's so nice. I'm I'm enjoying it really much. Maybe do you have any any bands or musical references? Uh, maybe in Eurovision or. Not mm -hmm. only in Eurovision, but apart from that. Yeah. Well, I have uh, many artists that I that I love. Most of them are like um, pop or country, I guess. that Those are my two genres that I prefer the most. My biggest influence is Taylor Swift, for sure. I just love her songwriting. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So you heard a, 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 a friend, a friend of mine Taylor told me, and I, and, I, and I came prepared <laughs> to this oh. interview. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm a very um, Taylor Swift fan, so so I know that I have to ask you about Taylor Swift. So yeah, I, I really enjoy. <laughs> yes, I love her songwriting style and her her lyrics. Yeah. Are like the biggest thing I dig about her, but there are so many other stuff. I also love Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. I love John Mayer. I love. Uh, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, I love Alison Krauss, Katie Melua. So are there are a lot of such inspiring people in, in the world music scene, I think. And also from Eurovision, one of my favorite songs is The Common Lynette's Calm oh. After the Storm. Yeah, from 2014. Yes, and by, by the Netherlands. Yeah. Probably because it has this country vibe and the song is very simple. And I think in, in terms of that, I'm always the type of Eurovision uh, performer that, that will always go to that more is less is more mm -hmm. side, I guess. So I like the songs that there aren't maybe as flashy. Maybe they don't have as many dancers and mm -hmm. the, the performance was very static, but it was still magical, I think. But of course, I like the, the other performances. Do. I just think I'm more the type yeah. of an artist to, to look up to artists like that. So maybe as well your performance is going to be like the common lineage, maybe with no so much people and very like in Gmos? Yes, you and light and I, I don't know. Or do yeah, I yeah. I think the performance is going to be, we're still arranging the details mm -hmm. and the stuff we're going to leave, stuff we're going to change. Touring, I think the, the performance is going to be simple, but we're going to try to make it effective with, uh, with the lighting, with the visuals, with the interactions. But I think there, there's not going to be like many stage elements. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will definitely have my guitar with me, at least for a part of the song, the yeah. same that I had in the Dora competition, because I just, guitar is just, kind of my extension and I feel most myself when I when I have it with me on stage and you're planning to have also a dancer I as uh, have uh, as you have had in the national selection yeah I had a dancer named Alex Olti mm -hmm. he's so amazing we are still not sure if he's going to be with me on the big stage as well we are just in the process of deciding because we have to send send the final materials and the staging to the Eurovision itself yeah. I think till monday or tuesday mm -hmm. so these are like final meetings and preparations and we'll decide together as a team what is best for the song but mm -hmm. no matter what what happens in the end i just i loved alex and his energy and his vibe and just the way we interacted on the stage was for me something yeah. else entirely <laughs> so i saw your performance on your national selection and you expected to win or did you cut or did the the win catch you by surprise that that day 
I was hoping I could win somehow. I was dreaming about it, fantasizing about it, but the, the, the announcement itself, I literally had a little blackout. I was so emotional and I just couldn't believe that it happened. Mm -hmm. And just walking to the stage was a challenge because I, <laughs> I couldn't see the way in front of me. I was just like all in my emotions yeah. and I was really happy. And I think it took me about three days to really start figuring it out that it's happening mm -hmm. and that I'm representing my country, which is a huge deal for me. Mm -hmm. So do you have maybe any ritual or how do you prepare before going to on stage? I always like to, if possible, have five minutes for myself, mm -hmm. just like focus on my breathing and do maybe a little meditation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm a big lover of fan of meditations i mean they can be all sorts of things they can just be talking to yourself or talking to what you think is god if you believe in god or it can just be focusing on your breathing visualization so i always like pick the type that i think is best suitable for my mood mm -hmm. that day and the biggest thing for me is always gratitude i try to like stay with myself for a couple of minutes and say to myself it's so cool that I get to do this. It's so cool that I get to go out on stage in front of a huge audience on a stage like that. Mm -hmm. So I just like try to appreciate it and not take it for granted, if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. And that's the energy that helps me the most. And it always just leads me to good results in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that you have seen the, the stage, uh, the, the enormous stage, and we are going to have also water. Maybe you are planning to use that water for something your performance? Uh, I'm still not sure, but when I when I heard there's going to be a waterfall, I was so excited because it's, I mean, when do you get to really go out on stage <laughs> with the waterfall? <laughs> I think it's amazing and the, the Eurovision production is giving us artists the opportunity to use such props on stage. Mm -hmm. I will definitely talk to my team and just, uh, I will just casually mention like <laughs> maybe the waterfall, <laughs> maybe I can jump <laughs> maybe I can jump the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that would be amazing. But I still, unfortunately, I still don't know because we're always doing stuff last minute. Some Somehow it always works best for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> so all the all the songs from your national selection were amazing, but did you have any favorite between the other songs that have not win? Yeah, I really loved uh, another, another Mia uh, artist yeah. song. Um, I've known me out the longest uh, out of all the other contestants on the Zora selection. And I think she's so amazing. And she's, uh, she's like, she's 19 years old, which is like so, yeah. so young and her vocals and her performance are mind blowing. So I thought that her song would do really well if she mm -hmm. won, because it had this Disney moment, this, yeah. this big chorus that people love. And I, I am a huge fan of songs like that as well. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide to take part in order to represent your own country in Eurovision? Why did you decide to, yes, this, no. this is going to be the moment, I will take part and, oh my God, I, I, you are going to win, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the moment for me was, uh, it was in November and it was nearing the deadline for creation song submitting. Mm -hmm. And wow. I had my song Guilty Pleasure all ready for a while and I also had a bunch of other English songs because my biggest dream for this year and next year was to put out my first English record mm -hmm. uh, and try to maybe possibly make it international. So mm -hmm. at that point, Guilty Pleasure was my favorite song off the whole list. And my manager just asked me one day, you know, the Dora deadline is getting closer and closer. Do you think maybe it would be a good idea for us to go to Guilty Pleasure with Guilty Pleasure? And then hypothetically, if we manage to go to Eurovision, then it's like a super amazing stage for you presenting your first English song, which is for me, the first reaction was like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not the right way for me because I always thought I was in the Eurovision kind of, artist mm -hmm. even though it's a really stupid conviction because yeah. there really is no such thing anymore i think like i think anyone can do well if they believe in their song if they perform outstandingly and the song has like this universal emotion so then i just gave gave it a couple of days and i thought about it and i just somehow felt it was right and i thought it, it was worth 
taking a risk, you know, even if people don't like the song, even if they don't think it's a Eurovision type of song, you know, who knows, mm -hmm. maybe someone will hear it, someone who's supposed to hear it. And amazing things can happen because Eurovision provides all this crazy media attention that you never could get mm -hmm. otherwise. So I, yeah, I'm so glad we applied. I think it was definitely the right call. And I'm so proud of my team mm -hmm. for doing all of this for me. Yeah. And talking about guilty pleasure about your song, um, are you planning to make any changes or is it is going to be the, the final version as we know? We are currently in the process of making the changes, but the changes are going to be very subtle. They're going to be more beat wise, you know, just mm -hmm. like maybe the rhythm, just uh, changing the rhythm in some parts. So it's going to be something that maybe people who are, n who are not musicians are not not even going to notice that much, but it will give them a different vibe, a different atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I like the song as it was, but uh, maybe I was just thinking out loud, maybe for the big stage, some changes are welcome, but I would never want to change its, its essence. You, know? mm -hmm. you will be performing in the se uh, second half of the first semifinal. So are you excited about, I don't know, maybe perform that on that semifinal? All, all people is saying that that semifinal is easier to pass through the grand final than the second one. And after Russia's, mm, that he's not, uh, the, the country is not going to be taking part this year, it might get easier. So maybe you're excited to be on that semifinal and not in the other one? I don't know. I think either way, whatever whatever happens, I would I will be in a semifinal with like amazing songs, <laughs> and it's it's a very tough competition. I think in either of the semifinals, so it, it's just a matter of luck, you know. We got drawn out for this one, and I think it, it was meant to be that way. I try to never question, you know, the matters of the universe. Yeah. If it happened yeah. like this, it was supposed to be like this. Who knows what it's good for? I will give my best, of course, to qualify. And I know other contestants will give their best to qualify. But at the end of the day, important thing is that we all enjoy the process. And we, you know, that we make new friends, that we gather new experiences. And then whatever yeah. happens is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, last year, Albinas was your representative and he came then by just in the jury and just in the televoting, but uh, she finally can, can cannot make it to the final. So maybe you you could change that thing and maybe it's Croatia's turn this time. I mean, I hope so. I'm of course I'm fantasizing about this. I will do everything I can, everything that it's in my power and in the power of my team to make it work. And I'm I was really sad, as was the rest of the nation last year yeah. when Albina didn't qualify. Obviously, we all thought she was amazing and she had a great performance and a great energy. And also she's such a young girl and a young artist. She didn't have a lot of experience before this. So I think the way she managed it was just mm -hmm. amazing. And she can be proud of herself. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, you can never know. There are so many factors involved. So I'm I, the only thing that I can do is just prepare for my performance the best I can and believe that the universe will take care of the rest. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> and has Alvina gave you any advice uh, to go to your vision? Yeah, she was really supportive. As soon as the All the Songs for Dora competition came out, she, she texted me, she said she liked the song and that whatever I needed, she, she's there for me. And she gave me some technical advices, you know, rehear about rehearsals, about how you have to be really efficient when you come to the rehearsals. And there's so many, so many things you can do, but you have to be prompt and you have to react quickly on, on the spot and you have to know what you want. When you, when you reach the European stage. So that for me was a really useful piece of advice and I'm going to try to come to Turin as prepared as possible. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Have you listened to any other songs competing in this year Eurovision? Maybe do you have any favorite between the other songs that, um, from different countries? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I like Italy because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm always big on those powerful ballads yeah. um I, yeah. i just listened to netherlands it came out this yeah. morning right this morning yeah yeah even though i don't understand dutch i i really liked it mm -hmm. um yeah. also i like spain which is a different a bit different up tempo song i like malta mm, i like oh my god I, there there were so many songs I, i know sweden <laughs> hasn't chosen yet yeah. but i like the One of the Swedish songs, even though it wasn't hasn't been chosen yet, I really like. Yeah. It's called Hold Me, Hold Me Closer. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 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 um, oh, oh, my God. What's in there? Cornelia Jacobs. Yeah. yeah. I, I, 
Yeah. I just heard it in passing by and I just really loved it. Yeah. So I think, I think this year's and also Ukraine is so cool. Yeah. It's so different, but so entertaining and so cool. And I also heard it has a deeper message that it's about a uh, singer's mom. Yeah. Or something like that. So yeah, I think this year's Eurovision is going to be really creative, fun, entertaining, and I can be proud to be a part of it, no matter how it turns out. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are so uh, so many songs from different countries, and I don't know if you know this, but there are going to be also uh, too many pre parties in some different places in Europe. Uh, there are going to be one in London, one in Barcelona, one in Madrid, mm -hmm. um, one in the Netherlands, and. Are you planning to maybe go to any pre-party, even if we cannot say that because you are not allowed? Yeah, absolutely. I still didn't arrange it officially, the dates, but I think I got invitation to three or something like that. And I will try to go to everyone I can, because this is my first year in Eurovision, maybe the last one. And I just want to get to know the community. I think it's so important. Mm -hmm. And I can I can see like the fans are not only rooting for the contestants, the fans are getting to know each other and supporting each other. And the, you, there are friendships between different cultures. I, I think it's yeah. just so amazing. And the Eurovision community is such a positive one, uh, promoting values we should all look up to. And it's all about feeling good that day, about great vibe, interesting songs, and rooting for your mm -hmm. candidates. So I can't wait to, yeah. to take part. Oh, that's amazing. I will be going to what prepare you, the one in Madrid. So hope to see you there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I will go to Madrid, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I, I definitely got the invitation for that one, oh and I would love to come. Oh my yes. God, so we will be there. So hope to okay. see you there. <laughs> I hope to see you too. It will be so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know, maybe you, you want to say something to the people that will see this interview later? Yeah, I just want to say, uh, guys, thank you for watching, for supporting us, for listening to our songs. And we, I think I can, I can speak in the name of all the contestants that we're also excited and so happy to be a part of this. And I hope you're doing well. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. So thank you so much, Mia, for this amazing interview. Hope to, to see you soon again anywhere. And yeah. good luck in Eurovision this year if I if I cannot see you. Hope Thank you, you so much. Hope you do well and we are going to keep to keep watching your music and uh, still listen to all the things that there will come. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. The interview was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye. See you.